Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Lior from Reconvert. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I go through my full dropshipping journey right on this channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you an absolute super hack that I've been using to save me hours of tedious work on my website. You've probably heard of it already. It's called ChatGPT. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use it to create an about a section, to create product descriptions and different pages that you're gonna need for your site. So let's get into the video. The first thing I'm gonna go through is your about a section. Okay, so I go to ChatGPT and I'm just going to say, write me a talk about your brand section for my online store that sells viral household goods. Okay, and let's see what it comes up with. We're going to edit this probably a good amount because it's not going to be exactly how we want it when you first do our first sentence. Okay, let's ask for something shorter and more general to the store name is STOP. That's the name of our store. We want it in, in our about us section or on our website. All right, let's try one without using the word trendy in it. Okay, that seems pretty good. Copy that, take it to our website and under talk about our brand, you paste it in. Now let's change the talk about our brand. We'll put welcome to Stopi instead of here instead. And we can change the padding a bit to make it smaller. Just play around with it a bit until you think it looks good for you. Then we're going to change our button so that it sends us directly to some products when someone clicks on it. So we're going to do shop now, shop more, and we'll send it directly to all of our collections when someone clicks on this. Now I think this might be a little bit long, so we'll make it a little shorter. Maybe we could take out this section right here and that looks good press save and that is the first part that's how you create your about us section now we're going to be using ChatGPT to create our pages so what you do is this first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to online store pages and you're going to go to add page here you're going to type in the first one it's going to be privacy policy and then we need something to put in the content section so we're going to use ChatGPT. open it up and i need a privacy policy for my online that is selling products and we get our privacy policy from chat gpt i'm going to go through this along with the other pages and make sure that they're good and put them in the description below so you don't even have to actually do this you can copy it directly from here but regardless no matter what you get from chat gpt i would always look through it to make sure it's what you're looking for exactly make sure there's no errors because you never know it's it's still a computer writing for you it's not you writing it yourself. So yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to ask for it to make it a little more in depth for us because that one seemed a little bit short. Okay, so we're going to copy this, go back to our website and paste it in here for our privacy policy. Okay, it's all there. And now you just press save and we're just going to copy this. And now instead of privacy policy, we are going to do our refund policy. So instead of privacy, you just type in refund, writes one up for you really quick. And there we go. Just copy that. And we're going to add a new page, paste it in there, call it our refund policy, and press save. Now, lastly, we're going to add one more page. We're going to call it the contact us page. And in the theme template, you change it to contact. Okay, you're going to press save, and you'll see how it looks right now. It actually shows us a contact us page for the website. All right, now we're going to put the pages in our footer menu. So what you do is you go to navigation. From here, you're going to go to footer menu. You do add menu item. Where the link is, you go down to pages, click on the first one, privacy policy or contact us and add it. Then do the next one, refund policy. It'll automatically make the name for you. Now you can do the privacy policy. There you go, save the menu and it's all there. When you go to your footer, you're gonna add the footer menu and all of these will show up there. Okay, now we're gonna make some product descriptions using ChatGPT. Let's do that. All right, what you're gonna do is this. From your website, you copy the product title. You do write me a description for, and you type it, you paste it in to sell on my website. And I'm gonna write up a little description for us, introducing the 18-in-1 stainless steel snowflakes multi-tool. Sometimes it doesn't get it exactly on the exact product you need. This one, it does, but sometimes it won't. So sometimes you have to play around with the words so that ChatGPT gets it exactly how you want it. But this one works well. All right, now all you gotta do is copy this and paste it in the product description under your product. You of course can edit it to your liking. It's not gonna be perfect from ChatGPT, but it does 90% of the job for you. Just press save, let's do another product. All right, let's do this magnetic folding chest, chest set. There we go, all you gotta do is edit this, copy and paste your new product title, 
and it's make our description for us. He threw it a bit and just copy it and paste it in the product description just like before. Then you can go up and change the images to what you like. You can order the product in and make custom images. Uh, let's do another one. All right, the bamboo dish scrub brush. Okay, we're gonna paste it in here, save and submit. All right, looks good to me. So let's just copy this and I'll paste it into here. Press save. And that is it for how to use ChatGPT to make it about a section, product descriptions, and different pages that you need for your website. If you haven't already, please do your job. All I'm asking you to do is subscribe, share, and like the video if you liked it. Leave some questions in the comments. I promise to get to every single one of them. Any other questions that you have, any other topics you want me to go over, anything else you want me to search up in ChatGPT and show you guys how to use it for your website, please go ahead, leave it in the comments, and I will get to it. Thank you guys for watching.